the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord, my dear brothers and sisters. Today's Gospel Reflection by CCR Mumbai Gospel Reading according to St. Luke Chapter 12 verse 39 to 48 Pay attention to this. If the master of the house had known at what time the thief would come, he would not have let him break into his house. You also must be ready, for the Son of Man will come at an hour you do not expect. Peter said, Lord, did you tell this parable only for us or for everyone? And the Lord replied, Imagine then the wise and faithful steward whom the master put in charge of his other servant to give them their allowance of food at the proper time. Fortunate is this servant if his master on coming home finds him doing his work. Truly I say to you, the master will put him in charge of all his property. But suppose the steward thinks my master will take a long time to come back and he began to beat the other servant, men and women and start eating, drinking and getting drunk. Then the master may come on a day. He does not expect him and at an hour he does not know. He will throw out that servant and make him share the fate of the disobedient. The servant who knew his master's will but did not get ready to do what his master wanted will be punished with several beatings. But the one who did what deserved a punishment without knowing it shall be beaten lightly. Much will be required of the one who has been given much and much more will be demanded from the one to whom a great deal has been interested. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, today Jesus one more time reminding us you also be must ready. This is individual call for everyone because God knows or all the characters. That's why today he is calling us. It's an individual call. So world always ready for different, different purpose. But this call is not a world call. This call for a judgment for, a, for, a, for, all, for all of us. We seen in this world, there is two type of category people. One is called this is a poor sinner. Why they are poor? Because they don't know who is God, where is God and which form he is and what is his name. They are searching, they are running behind so many things. Still. They are not getting that God which they are searching. That is why whatever they seen, they bow down before that things and they are thinking that is their God. But for us, God is different. That is why we are called rich sinner. We know a God we know God's nature, 
we know God. Who is He? Where is He? And what form He is? Still, we are away from this God. We are looking very good. We are attending Holy Eucharist. We are participating Holy Mass. We are going prayer services, rosaries. We are attending retreats. But still, we are away from God. That is why God reminding today us the beautiful word. You also be much ready with that. Another word Jesus is telling the same gospel, forty-seven verse. The servant who knew his master's will, but did not get ready to do what his master wanted. Yes, as a we servant, we stand before our Lord. Our master is our Jesus Christ. He loves us. Is a merciful God. We don't want to perish anyone. That is why He is always reminding this word. Last two thousand twenty-one years, so many died, but we are alive in His presence, so that we may understand this word and change ourselves. And we may become a new children of God in this world. That is why Jesus telling this parable, according to Saint Matthew, chapter thirteen, twenty-four to twenty-six, the parable of the weeds. Parable of the weeds like this: the kingdom of heaven can be compared to a man. Who sowed good seeds in his field while everyone was asleep? His enemy came and sowed weeds among the weeds and left. When the plant sprouted and produced grain, the weeds also appeared. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, this is from the beginning of our life. Jesus sowed his word with that word. Enemy also sowed his weeds, and we are carrying both things in this world. That is why Jesus reminding you also must be ready, because so many weeds in us, the weeds of pride, the weeds of lust, the weeds of anger. The weeds of jealousy, the weeds of gluttony, the weeds of sloth, the weeds of greedy, and many more weeds. That is why Jesus reminding that word, the servant who knew his master will. Yes, we are the servant. We know what is God's will, but did not get ready to do what. Is wanted. Yes, my dear brothers and sister. One more parable. Adding this, that is Luke thirty, thirteen, six to eight, the barren fig tree. The parable is like this. Jesus continued with this parable. A man had a fig tree growing in his vineyard. And he came looking for fruits on it, but found none. Then he said to the gardener, "Look here, for three years now I have been looking for figs on this tree, and I have found none. Cut it down. Why should it use up the ground?" The gardener replied, "Leave it one more year, sir, so that I can dig around it and manure it, and perhaps it will be bear fruit next year. But if it does not, 
you can cut it down yes my dear brothers and sister we are that barren fig tree are we are producing good fruit tree that is we have to be understand today because this is the call of last day of judgment of our life because we are alive and today god is asking you are bearing good fruits in your life are you a barren tree not producing good fruits this is the beautiful god beautiful god god reminding us in this parable as a gardener became chaser and he replied leave it one more year sir this is the key word of our life today whole world is live in this world because jesus himself took all the responsibility of whole humanity that is called grace spirit of jesus and we are living in that grace spirit because jesus took our responsibility his his shoulder and he want to change us otherwise jesus said this will not bear fruit next year but if it is that not you cut it down jesus told this word that i can dig around it and manure it and for us it will bear fruit next year yes next year means this moment in our life we have to be bear good fruit otherwise we have to be ready for judgment of our life and our soul so we may not perish but we may get life through jesus today we pray for our own lord jesus have mercy on us we are in this world we do not know what we are doing where we are one more time your mercy bless mercy bless on us so we can rise up once again through your mercy and change ourselves and we may we, we must ready for that day you called for us that is the second coming of jesus judgment day in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen